So this hand is from a post stream game at the Husker Casino Live where we were playing the 5-5 anti game. Or they were playing the 5-5 anti on stream. I think we switched it to 50 hundred post stream and so mm -hmm. we were just playing 50 hundred. And so I was on the left of a new player who um, I never played with before. I kind of had the impression that he was maybe not super comfortable with the stakes or how deep we were. Cause I, I came to the game and I bought in for like a ton and he was like, I kind of made some comments about like how much I bought in for And so Maybe I just had the impression he was a little bit scared money. And so I kind of started going after this guy. So I was just like kind of three betting him with any, any two cards, like nine deuce off, queen five off, eight, four off. Like I was just literally any two cards. <laughs> yeah. So like, there was a hand earlier in the session where I three bet him with queen five off. He four bet me. I peeled the flop was like queen deuce three. He bet small. I called. Turn was a brick, he checked. Now I think I had the best hand, I bet. He calls, the river's another brick. He checks and I shove for over pot. And he calls with nines and I stack them with queen five and four bet pot. Yeah. yeah. And so Standard. Like, Those are crazy. Yeah, so like, yeah. I really was three betting any two cards. Like I swear, like whenever he opened, I was three betting. And he literally yeah. made comments. He's like, dude, what the fuck? Like chill. So uh, what happens, so I stacked him with queen five and he's stuck. And then he rebuys 20K and he proceeds to just run it up to 100K all from me. Yeah, most because yeah. like I'm three betting him they do cards. Yeah, so makes I mean, sense. You know, it can <laughs> kind of be detrimental. And he's like binking on me. Like he four bet me once, and then I got I flopped like third pair, and he rivered an ace. To be fair, tilted. it's not that hard to crack hands like queen five nine deuce. Like <laughs> sure, but it still feels unfair when I flop a pair and he doesn't. No, you're <laughs> right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. So, reasonable. Uh, he so he runs it up to like a hundred k, and he, in, in the process of running up to the hundred k, Ishan was at the table. He overbet a ton of rivers against me, yeah. and I paid every single one. And every single one it. he had like a very nutted hand yeah. so I was just like okay this is one of those guys who's like, not capable of red bluffing or like mm -hmm. isn't going to yeah. so we played this hand where he opens and I look down at the beautiful five deuce suited I three bet Yeah. he calls cut off first button yeah the yeah. flop is um, ace three four all clubs and I have five deuce of clubs that's incredible <laughs> so you know an average flop for me average so I was like flop. I wasn't like upset but I wasn't like thrilled right. <laughs> <laughs> this happens once a day for you it's fine yeah you know three and so five um, deuce flop a straight flush just another day yeah <laughs> and playing 100k deep and uh, he checks and I was like wow how big is the pot roughly on the flop I don't know like 5k maybe. 5k okay. yeah 5k he checks and I was like okay Check. Like, I, I, my hand's too good. I don't want to lose him, you know? <laughs> so I check. And the turn's another ace. So now I'm like praying. I'm like, please have an ace. Please have an ace. And he like pots it. Like, but it's like 4K. So I'm like, okay, this is very good. Call. Yeah. And then the river is an offsuit 10. And now he bets 20K into like 12, 12K. Or, yeah, yeah. 11. He's saying he has a good hand. Yeah. And he has like 70K left. And I'm like, man, every time this guy's over bet, he's just been super nutted. Like, and it wasn't necessarily like nutted, like in terms of actually having the nuts, but like you could tell he thought his hand was the nuts. Right. So yeah. I was definitely under the impression that his hand was in his brain, like impossible to beat. Mm -hmm. So usually here against like most players, I would just like min raise because I feel like my hand looks like quads, you know, mm -hmm. or some shit. Like yeah. my hand just looks way too strong. Yeah. But I was like, this guy can't fold. So I just jammed it in on him. Mm -hmm. And he like literally tanks for like 10 minutes, gets up, walks off the stage like onto the he floor brings back his holding phone his camera. hair comes back turns his cards over takes, takes a, a video picture. of the thing what does he have what does he have right? clubs he has okay. so he fucked the nut flush, the nut flush. <laughs> right, but we're looking at a paired board now yeah but it, it doesn't matter Still, yeah. and he's literally giving up me a speech like, he's like I'm married to the hand I can't fold he counts out the entire pot his bed he counts out how much money it is then he takes a video of the whole situation and like it's gone for five minutes finally I'm like dying so I just start having a conversation with like Ishan and Francisco <laughs> and then he just like slams his chips in to call. And so obviously I was like, oh, five high flush. And, he and he's like, he, won. he thought he won. He thought he won. He thought he won. And then Nick flipped it over and he's like, what is that? <laughs> I was on I had five high flush. Evil. <laughs> I thought he won when he said five high flush. I was like, wait, you shove with the five high flush? And then I was like, oh shit. <laughs> it's that five high flush. In fact, the, the only, only five, five high flush. High flush. <laughs> I gave him a little punishment. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, was nice. That, that was, was crazy, nice. Man. But I mean, I think in his shit, like, it's an easy fold, but whatever. <laughs> See, like, he thinks enough folding, enough flush is an easy fold. But he like, overbet the river and got four X, like, three X jammed yeah. on. Like, what, yeah, you think I would just be like, okay, Ace X, turn eight into a block. <laughs> I would be like, I would be so tilted. The Ace of the Clubs is on the. Oh, yeah. you're yeah, another like, ASAP. He's got yeah. trips, yeah. Or something, he like trips and he's just like, I'm just going to fucking stick it on your ass because I have trips and I block the boats and stuff. I would be like, it's not totally unreasonable. To yeah. And he has a 10 too. Yeah. So it like was, ace 10. The river was a 10. Have, so he yeah. blocked like yeah. ace 10. Um, uh, yeah. The best part was though, when he goes, he goes, uh, the guy goes, I only lose to three hands. Aces, oh, ace yeah. 10 or 10s. Oh yeah, that was <laughs> and I'm, I talk to myself, I'm like, 
I don't have one of those. I don't have any of those hands, buddy. Call. You should have showed him a five of clubs, dude. That would be hilarious. That would have been funny. Then he would have never folded. He would have been like, you have smaller flesh. I have the nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have reduced the clubs. Yeah, I mean, you should have just been like, hey, like, pick one. Honestly, at that point, I was like, he's going to pay me. He's going to mourn. Yeah, I was like, let him mourn the loss first. That's what he was doing, and then pay me. That's kind of him. So, yeah. Then I gave him the whole like you know five five flush and send him on his bike <laughs> nothing bike. gives me joy as much as like <laughs> the bike treatment yeah just felting someone for all their chips and having them like be like and just knock the table and walk out <laughs> i love it <laughs> that is so sad so it's sad. a game we're playing a game i like, do love that yeah. I, I think for me personally like there's a few people that i can battle like that with versus everyone else like i feel not everyone else versus like maybe half of the population. I feel genuinely apologetic hmm. when I scoop in all their chips. That's true. Maybe. I've given refunds sometimes where like someone was like a super whale in the game and I knew they were just losing. I was like, here, take 2K back. No, yeah. I, I never yeah. do that. I yeah. think it's like uh, bad etiquette personally. If But sometimes they ask for it. It depends on how you play it off. So like yeah. this is something I've only done a couple of times, but yeah. let's say like I stack them for 10K or whatever. Like sometimes I'll just like give them 1K back as a lucky chip. Mm. Yeah, sure. That's reasonable. Yeah, I mean, I don't do that. Yeah, I don't do it either. <laughs> I, I, I don't, don't feel, do it either. I don't feel bad stacking people because <clears throat> maybe it's just because like who I play with. Like I play with guys who are very successful, so like. Yeah. Like I've seen people lose oh, yeah. Yeah, half a million, yeah. six hundred thousand, and they like, can afford it. They don't They'll care at all. Yeah, like, they're yeah. fine. So I never feel bad beating like a Bill Klein or a Jr. or like yeah, a Double yeah. M out of a huge pot because mm -hmm. I'm like, we're gonna trade back this money, and yeah. you can afford to lose the money. Yeah. And yeah. then when like some guy comes in who's like, you know, taking a shot in the game, I'm like, you have a huge edge in this game like, mm -hmm. for sure. You're gonna play tighter than all of us. You're gonna play better than all of us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when I send you on your bike, like I don't have to feel bad. Yeah, like yeah. you had like you made like five k in EV yeah, by yeah. being here. Now. You don't get to keep the money, yeah, but fuck off. get out of my life, you know? Like, yeah. you came, you tried, now on your bike, buddy. Like, it's not yeah. that simple. I don't and really I don't, feel you know, bad all, stacking people. Yeah. And they all talk shit, too. They all yeah. think that we suck. Yeah. I'm like, well, yeah. then come play. Like, come play your 200000 on the table and see how long you can last in a 100-200 game. Like, yeah. I like that. You'll be felted before you know it, buddy. Like, it's not yeah. that simple. Like, yeah. you can't just wait for the nuts. It's just yeah. not possible in these games. Like, you can't. Yeah. You're just going to bleed away chips, you know? The yeah. other thing is just, like, high six games. Like, they oftentimes don't play, like, their advertised stake. Yeah. We so, always, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're going to, if they say 100, 200, it's going to be 124. <coughs> and if it's not 124, it's going to be 1248. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, I mean, like, yeah. yeah. And that's the other thing, too. It's, like, when people come to a high stakes game, they don't want to straddle. Mm -hmm. Puts me on super tilt. Mm -hmm. Not even necessarily because I always want to straddle, but it's because, like, you have to just be willing to straddle. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can see both sides because when I was still new to it, I definitely didn't want to straddle because I wasn't really comfortable with all the money I had on the table. Yeah. But then once you get comfortable with it, you play a few times, you're like, okay, whatever. Like, I can lose 20K, 40K, whatever. Like, the straddle doesn't matter that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, um, I think keeping the game as advertised is definitely like good in general. But I think if you're playing on a stream, like, you just like have to be willing to like, yeah, straddle because we're, it's a Fair. different dynamic like we're not just yeah, playing poker fair. we're putting on a show i mean forget like good and bad i think generally if you're playing like an organized game you should just be like Willing. ready yeah. yeah yeah i mean yesterday when i was playing the 501k plo at one point one of the action players wanted to do 2k mm -hmm. round of straddles I don't want to do that shit because I don't even have like enough chips to play five hundred one k here in Vegas. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I, yeah. I'm not even going to borrow chips, but like yeah. you can't say no. You yeah. just do it and you just pray that you don't no. like, get wasted sure, in that round. Cooler, you know? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And I lost like thirty k in that round, for <laughs> <laughs> yeah. which is nothing like, like pot, twenty big wines. You know? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's like one an open pot. and like a, yeah. you fold to a three bet. Like, you're down ten k. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> what can you do? Yeah.